Hope everyone is doing well. This is a check-in for this week. I appreciated everyone's feedback, especially on the discussion board regarding uh, interview techniques. This is really critical in the form of communication, right? You want to obtain a job. You want to be able to keep that job. So effective communication during your time uh, of employment and for your interview process is really important. So I hope you got a lot out of that. Hope you took the time to dig into the chapter and you know learn a little bit more about finding a job and and how to how to network and certain things so um, from the discussion board I could tell people really took it seriously and I really appreciate that because I think it's gonna be critical in your um, in your future right so if you're looking for a, a job after you graduate I think this could help you along the way this week we're going to talk about adapting communication to patients so um, I'd like to share first and foremost, there's no homework this week. So enjoy the, the time uh, off. You don't have a discussion board. You don't have anything to submit. So uh, look at this chapter as best you can. Um, you know, there's a lecture up here about communicating with patients, how to communicate on their level. That's really important. Uh, and then interview techniques for patient care. This is a different type of interview though, right? So you have an interview your personal self to obtain a job then you have the patient care interview side of things and how to talk to a patient when you're interacting with them in a healthcare setting so that's really important I really would like for you if you don't watch anything to watch this empathy the human connection to patient care video uh, it was put on by an organization I think it might be the Mayo Clinic and I think it's really important to to take a look at and uh, it'll really I think make you stop and think about what you're doing uh, as a future career and then also the impact that you might have on others. Um, further, there's an agency for quality uh, and research, AHQR, that is a great uh, organization to, to look at. You know, they have a lot of great information on their website and it talks about effective patient and family communication. So there's a video on here if you'd like to watch it about how to communicate effectively. Uh, I recommend taking a look. And then further we talk a little bit about healthcare privacy. So you probably heard about health information privacy, uh, HIPAA, right? So um, look at this. You're not going to really be asked to know a lot about it, but make sure as a medical professional that you do. I know that you'll have a law and ethics class uh, with me um, soon, so that will really dig into HIPAA and the laws and regulations surrounding healthcare, so you're aware of, you know, some of the uh, glitches or some of the issues that you might run into when you know delivering, you know, verbal communication to patients or, um, you know, when things come up. So. That's this week's information. Enjoy. No homework. I'll post this uh, information in the announcement page. And, of course, if you need anything, reach out um, via email or we can set up a call. But I really appreciated the effort people put into their uh, APA assignment. People did really well. Uh, and I could tell you really tried and, and put forth the effort needed to get a good grade, the majority of you. So uh, if you want uh, any feedback, you have any questions, reach out anytime and happy to happy to help. So uh, thanks for all you're doing and have a good rest of the weekend and have a good week next week.